My name is Bill Fenton, and I was a lieutenant in the uh, Navy. Mostly, well, we were out of Groton, Connecticut, and um, we would do weekly ops just, uh, you know, off the coast of Groton, but then we'd also go down to the Caribbean for springboard, which was always in the spring, and you'd get down there for about three months, and you'd operate out of San Juan or St. Thomas, doing exercises with destroyers or aircraft. You know, basically we'd hide and they'd try to find us. Uh, and then I did two med runs. We'd go to the Mediterranean for three months at a time. And, uh, oh, those were, those were fun times. I mean, you go to sea for about two weeks and then you come into port for two weeks. And we'd go to Athens, we'd go to Barcelona, we'd go to Naples, we'd go to Palma, Mallorca, uh, went to Lisbon, Portugal. Uh, so um, it, was, it was fun. But um, we, you know, we, it was mostly training, mostly training. Russian destroyers, when we were on the surface, because diesel submarines normally are on the surface, they're built basically to go fast on the surface and very slow underwater. And so you, you would submerge to sneak around, but to get anywhere you go on the surface. And the, the Russian destroyers would kind of play tag with us and they'd try to, you know, they'd try to make us turn around and go some other way because otherwise, you know, we'd collide. Um, yeah, we, we, we saw a lot of Russian destroyers playing with us. I actually had three different roles over the course of my time on board. When I came on board, I was the electrical officer reporting to the uh, engineer, uh, so responsible for all the electricians and the electrical equipment. Uh, the Navy has what they call a supply corps, and these are officers who specialize in uh, spare parts and that kind of thing. They don't have those on submarines, they're only on larger ships. So everybody takes a turn. So I was a supply and food service responsible for feeding the crew. And then finally I was a ship's engineer responsible for all of the, the equipment on board. The worst job I ever had was food service. Nobody's happy. <laughs> so, and in fact, uh, this is a funny story. Every quarter you had to uh, go through and reconcile the inventory. And you had to do this on an uh, adding machine that produced a tape which got sent to Washington. And this was before digital calculators. This was this huge machine. You didn't have a crank, but you'd hit this button and it'd go ka chong ka chong ka chong right? So I asked the cook, I said, you ready to do the quarterly uh, reconciliation? Can't do it. Why not? Add machines broke. What's wrong with it? I don't know, it just quit. So let's, let's look at it. I look at it, and this thing's got a huge dent in it. <laughs> Turns out he dropped it down to half the battery hatch. But I don't know, it just quit. <laughs> so.